Jack, it's been five years since you've been here. Can you sum up what's been happening in those intervening five years? Oof, uh, nope. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know. I can't even remember half of them. Um, it's been quite a change. Um, we released two albums in the past. We've just released the third one now, Before the Storm. Um, and there's been a whole sort of change with everybody I work with and the musicians I've worked with. Been able to kind of pick all my favorite people that I've met along the road in the last five years and get them all together and make the album I always wanted to make. Great, and where was the album recorded? We recorded it in London in a place called Kensal Town Studios um, with a group of producers called The Suppliers and a sort of co-production with Martin Tarif and The Suppliers are three Danish guys. It's like a production team that they all work together and they played on the on the record as well. And yeah, it was, it was working with what I like to think of as the dream team for me. And can you give us an idea, we haven't heard it yet, any, any sort of change in direction from, from any of your previous stuff? I don't know, I've never tried to find a direction, a particular direction in any of the records I've made. I mean, this one especially, I really didn't want it to be a record that you could just put on a shelf under country, folk, pop, rock, whatever. I kind of wanted to every song it make you think, oh, just when you think it was a certain type of album, it takes you somewhere else. So, because that's the kind of music I listen to. I don't listen to one type of music, so I don't really want to make an album that sounds like one type of music. Um, so I, I hope that we've achieved that in this record. Great. And uh, when, it, when it comes to writing the songs, what way do they come about? I mean, do you get, I mean, this is like a, a question I suppose you get asked a lot of the time. Is it the music first, then the lyrics, or the lyrics first, then the music, or does it happen either way? Or? It's different for every song. Most of the time, it's all together. One influences the other. Um, but I, I've started to realize that there's a lot more, there's a lot to be said about writing lyrics beforehand and then bringing them to life with melody because that's kind of how you start writing. That's how I started writing. Um, and I like going back to that now because I find there's a little bit more quality to lyrics when you do go with lyrics first. So where, where are you turning at the minute? Uh, we're going to Dublin tomorrow and then we're coming back over and doing Leeds, Birmingham, Manchester, London and the usual suspects. And also, um, could you tell me, you've got a live band then with it on this tour? Yeah, yeah, I've been fortunate enough to find, to assemble my favorite musicians that I've met along the years, uh, most of them at least. You can't always take everybody with you, but um, we're, we're pretty much a four piece on the road right now. Do you prefer that to just to do the solo um, performances, or suppose each one's different? Yeah, it is. Well, I've been, I mean, I've been touring for the last five years alone, so it's nice to bring, you know, because they're friends as well as sort of band members, they're, they're friends, so it's nice to travel with friends. And it's nice, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. The, the show is fun. I think for the audience it's fun, because there's a lot to take in now. It's not just about the songs. The songs are there, but there's a lot of great musicianship going on through our shows. At least I like to think that. What do you think too about the, the whole reality TV X Factor? Do you agree with that sort of format? Do you think it, you, you really have to, to, to do as you've done and just earn your earn, earn your, your, your your reputation by, by gigging and drafting? Um, I think they're two different businesses. <laughs> I think they're two different career choices that, that they have nothing to do with each other. Um, yeah. Music happens to be a common thread. But the actual path going along, it's a bit like saying, do you want to work at McDonald's or do you want to work at a gourmet restaurant? They're both serving food, but it's very different types of food. One is fast and cheap and gets done quickly, but everybody loves it. And one is done slowly, can be expensive. You can win, you can lose. It's kind of that. That's the only comparison I can really think about it. And I think that's, that's kind of, I, I don't think one or the other is ever going to die out.